I'm Nate Johnson, owner and head trainer at Steel Strength Training. Today we're going to be talking about something you can do as far as mobility goes. Um, we're actually focusing on the quads today, so the front of the thighs. I got my partner here, Zach Thomas, helping us out. He's laying on the floor. He's my workout partner, one of my best friends. Um, but before we get started, I just want to give a shout out to Kelly Starrett. Uh, he's got this awesome book called Becoming a Supple Leopard. Um, pretty much everything I know about mobility has come from this book and watching his videos online. It's a great resource. So today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be working on tight spots that we can find in the quads. I promise you that 99.9% .9 of all of us are going to have these tight spots. And what's actually happening is because the muscle is tight, it's pulling hard and so it's causing pain in both the knee and the hip. And so what we're going to do is we're going to just put a lot of pressure on these tight points until they literally will release and they will relax and you can feel them do so. And it's a little painful, but when you get done, you can really tell a difference because by releasing that tension, now you fed some slack, um, both upstream and downstream to the hips and the knees. So this is called a quad smash. It's straight from Kelly Starrett's book, Becoming a Supple Leopard. And I'm just going to demonstrate it for you guys right now. Um, whenever we get done, just make sure you're doing this in uh, really as many places as you want on the quads. I'll typically do three um, on each side. So let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our foot. We're going to make sure we're using the arch in our foot. We're not digging in with the heel. We're not digging in with the front, with the, uh, front of the foot. And so we're going to start up higher on the quad. And you're just going to move it around until you find some tension, something tight. I think we got something right there. And so this is going to hurt a little bit. Um, it's always good to have a safe word. If your partner's just hurting too bad, then uh, just let them know and go ahead and ease off. But um, put as much pressure on there as you can. So just slowly ease into it. So I'm starting to put some pressure in right now and starting to feel it. Okay, and we'll just hang out here for a second. And you can really pay attention to their breathing. And one thing I'll have them do is I'll have them get a big breath. And as he breathes out, I'm going to dig in even further. And again, this is going to hurt, but uh, it's going to be worth it in the end. So let's go one more time. I'm leaving that pressure. Go ahead and get a big breath for me, Zach. Breathe out. Good. So guys, like I said, um, this is just going to release some tension in the quads. It hurts a lot. That's why it's called the quad smash. But it's really great, um, especially for the knees. Look at that, his knees are already moving and feeling a little bit better than before. So if this was pre-workout or even at night, just taking care of some mobility, um, we'll usually do three or four um, uh, tight points on the left side and then three or four on the right side. You'll be feeling good as new when you get done.